Hi guys, Spartan here. In this video I'll show you how to uninstall the Alienware Command Center uh, in case you were having problems with it, any glitches, or simply if you wanted to update it and ensure that the updated version has, you know, works perfectly. So what, what you want to do first is you want to head over to Control Panel, Programs and Features, and we're going to start by uninstalling the Alienware OC controls overclocking controls that is once that's done you want to uninstall the command center same way Right now that both have been uninstalled, now we want to get rid of the remnants that they leave behind. So first let's head over to Start, C, Program Files, and you see this folder? It only has the Anywhere Command Center in it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete the whole thing using Shift Delete to permanently delete it. And then we're going to go to C, Users, whatever your username is on the computer, so for me here, Spartan, App Data. And we're going to want to look at local and roaming folders if there's any leftovers here. So, as you see, there was nothing left, so that's good. Let's go to roaming. Nothing here as well. In case there was an, a folder saying anywhere, you just go ahead and delete that in both those local and roaming folders. And the last step we want to do is head over to reg edit, the registry editor. And you're going to want to look in HKey Current User Software. You see here this Alienware folder or key. You want to delete that. And you want to also make sure that in the WoW 641332 node, there is nothing there. Okay, so it's clear. Just making sure. And finally, we want to check HKey Local Machine Software. This is not related to uh, the command center, but I'm just going to delete it because I've already uninstalled the digital delivery useless uh, app from Dell. For those who have bought software through uh, from Dell directly, so you know this app is used to install that software. And we are going to finally check in the WoW 64.32 node. Right, nothing here, so that's clear. Okay. Now, one tip I want to give you is when you download your any file that is not just the drivers, but you want to go to right click on the file properties. So let's check, for example, the command center. When you download it, you Microsoft puts a blocked status like mark on the file, and what that does is when you try to install it, it may not install completely because it has a blocked status. So you want to always check, go to properties, and ensure that at the bottom it doesn't say this file came from the internet and may be blocked for security. This is not a security feature, it's a stupid way of, you know, stupid method. I don't know why Microsoft does that. They block every file you download. Um, it doesn't know if a file is safe or not, it just blocks everything. So you want to ensure if it says it was blocked, just there would be an unblock button here. Just hit unblock and then apply and OK to exit. Now, uh, yeah, I, I have a tweak to disable this unblocking, which I'll leave uh, a link in the description of how you can prevent Microsoft from automatically blocking every file you download. Because this is one of the first reasons people have problems when they install apps or drivers. It causes major uh, headaches for developers because the app is fine or the driver is fine. It's just that you've ins tried to install it w with it having a blocked status. Anyway, now after we've done this cleanup, we just want to reboot and you can go ahead and install the command center, reboot, and then install the Alienware OC controls if your laptop had an overclockable processor like a K processor. Right guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.